efforts across the state. Ahead at four, how you can receive assistance at Team South Carolina County Days. And a live look outside. I wanted you to see how the roads look leading up to the state fairgrounds. A little bit busy in some spots, but no problems getting off Shop Road or Bluff Road and heading over to the fairgrounds. I'll give you a fair forecast coming up. Fair, the fun continues for WIS. Our Greg Adeline bringing you some live excitement from the South Carolina State Fair up next. Live from Columbia, South Carolina, WIS News 10 starts with developing news. And first at four, a Kershaw County woman will spend 35 years in prison after a jury just convicted her of murdering her husband's lover more than six years ago. Prosecutors say 49-year-old Stacy Cato shot and killed Brenda Coates in her car back in June of 2018. They say she did this after she found Coates with her husband before fleeing, fleeing the scene. Testimony detailed what the state termed a love trapezoid, a marriage wrought with infidelity, and text messages presented as evidence showed Cato also had feelings for Coates. The defense in closing arguments, while not disputing that Cato fired the fatal shot, they did argue that she shot in self-defense and this was all an accident. They say she feared for her life when she believed her husband, who apparently was abusive, was reaching for something. The state also arguing that this was the case of a woman who tracked her prey and went out to find Coates and her husband that night with the intent to kill. Somebody she cared deeply for, somebody she spilled her heart out for on the side of the road with her husband. Isn't it time to hold her accountable for all these things she does? Well, at this moment, sentencing is happening for uh, Coates. Nick Neville is inside the class, inside the courtroom, rather, and we'll have live reports up next. Mayor News at 5. 